Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. If you're new here, a special hello and welcome to you. Now on my channel, we do all sorts of things. We do shopping trips, we do craft videos, we do baking videos, we do vlogs, we do a real mixture of things. So if you haven't subscribed to us and you are new here, please consider subscribing because we are a lovely bunch, nice and friendly. We've also got a Facebook and an Instagram as well and they are both Becky's Crafts and Goodies too. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do another budget kind of Christmas craft. This is great. You can do this for your own home, but you can also give these as gifts as well. So if you did miss out on our hot chocolate tutorial where we basically upcycled some old jam jars and we made a hot chocolate hot cocoa bar, a little area for my kitchen. So what I can do for you if you did miss that video is I can link that in the description and I'll also try and pop it at the end of this video too so you can watch that if you did miss out on it. Now we're going to use some jam jars again and some kind of jars. Now a brilliant jar for this if you're in the UK would be Dow Egbert's The Coffee. That is a really really good jar, great kind of shape and size. It's similar to the Yankee Candle jar, it looks very similar to that. Now you can use these but I would say be really careful that they are super spotlessly clean because obviously they've had candle in them, you know they've had candle wax in them, you want to make sure they're clean because we are going to be putting some biscuits in them but what you can also do is you can put wrapped items in these which would probably be better if you're using a jar like this so you don't have to just put cookies in them which is what we're going to do anything like this kind of jam jar this one hasn't even got the lip the label properly removed anything like this you can use any kind of shape and size and what we're going to do is it's a really really simple technique and anyone can do it really and the paper that I'm using was I think I bought it from Amazon a couple of years ago, but you can use any kind of Christmassy paper. You can even use old Christmas cards. Vintage cards would be really good. Maybe you could go on to Etsy. You could go on to, um, I think the Digital Collage Club has things like this as well. You could Google it, some vintage Christmas prints or Christmas prints. As long as you're able to use them, sometimes you have to check whether they're, um, you know, you're able to use the print or not for your own purpose. If you go onto Etsy, most of these sorts of things are instant download. So you can literally download, pay for it, download it straight away and print it off on your computer. And you're well away and you can just start making them. So the ones that I've got, as I say, I'm, I've got, I had a 12 by 12 pad and I'm cutting them out of that. Some really nice ones. I'll show you those as well. Some nice tags that you get in there too. If Amazon still sell them, I'll have a look and I'll put that in the um, description. But I don't know if they still have them, but... I, um, I'll try and I'll have a look for you. So what we're going to do now is make a start and decorate them. We've got the cookies all ready to go and you'll just see how easy it is and how much love and effort goes into presents like this because, and also some people, this is another point, some people have lots of money and they can buy anything they want. And it's really nice when you have people like that to make something that you really put thought into and put love into because you can't buy that, can you? So this is also a good present to give somebody that can buy anything they want uh, but that's it that's enough for me let me show you how to make it and I'm going to start by showing you the the books that I use these are the 12 by 12 paper pads so this first one they're all kind of loose but I'll show you the front covers anyway this is um, Stamperia it's pink Christmas and there's some really really nice designs in there but you see you can cut these up and use these for cards like card making or anything like that they're absolutely perfect I'm going to make a few cards actually I think this year with those and this is the other one this is the Christmas vintage so there's a pink Christmas and then a Christmas vintage so I've used both on this project I've used some from the pink and I've used some from the vintage one as well and it's really cool because you get these tags inside so you can just cut them out and I've cut a couple of those out you get little tags like this that you can use so it is a really nice set. As I said, I don't know if you can still get it, but I will have a look. Right, so now we're going to actually decorate the jar itself. So this has been super cleaned. I've left it to soak. I've given it so many washes. And we're going to stick some of the bits of paper and the card on the front. So I've cut this piece out of the Pink Christmas, the paper pad. And what I've done is I've put some double-sided sticky tape on the back. You won't be able to wash these because it's paper. So it's just literally for, um, you know, for, for design, really. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick that on the front. And I also found 
a piece of card that was really long and I thought it was really pretty but it's just a little bit short to go around the bottom I thought it would look really nice around the bottom um, it's a tiny bit too short what I could do is pull it round and maybe put something on the front you know like a design but what I'm going to do is stick it around the middle of the jar and then we're going to stick that over the top so I thought that would look quite cute so I've put a double sided sticky tape on to this as well and it's literally just a case of peeling it off and sticking it onto the jar now the beauty of this what you can do is if you're giving these as presents or if you're doing them yourself you can actually just peel the tape off and do something else you can put something else on the front so you know it's not it's not final but there are kind of pluses in that as well so what we're going to do is just get the middle here or whereabouts we think the middle is and then we're going to stick that round they do stick down really quite easily which is quite good they don't quite meet exactly but i don't think you're going to notice that because we're going to stick this over the top this is a great craft for kids to do i am um, i made the biscuits that we're going to put inside with phoebe and she really enjoyed making them so i think it just makes it more of a special gift if you've made the contents as well and if you can't bake or you haven't got time then you can actually just buy them so you know you can buy the bits to go inside it really won't matter so what we're going to do now is just stick the label over the front like that and then we've got that going around the edge so inside there we're going to put our shortbread now this shortbread i've made these on the channel before and I've got, I'll put the recipe for these in case you wanted to, to do them. And it literally is just three ingredients. That's all it is. So me and Phoebe made these. I'll just show you these. We've got some which are snowflake shapes. And we've just got some little round biscuits here. So what I'm going to do is pop the snowflake ones inside the jar. And then we'll just put a ribbon around the top and maybe a tag on. And that will be that jar finished. And these are the smaller ones I'm going to put in another jar. And I've made some of the jars here. And I'll show you what I've done with those and what I've put inside. Right, don't they look cute in there? They just look so sweet. So I'm going to put a ribbon around the top. This is a kind of a pink sort of rose goldy ribbon. It is a little bit wired, I think, which helps to tie a bow and I'm just going to go around the neck of the, the jar and just tie a simple bow that's all I'm going to do and this is how you can you know you can see how easy it will be for children to make these but I know that craft fairs and things like that are going to be hard this year to do um, but next year maybe you could make some of these up and do those anyway so just going to tie this into a bow. I did a double knot on the bottom there just to make it a bit more secure. Just do a bow. I'll just neaten that bow up and I'll cut these side bits. I'll just show you. I will neaten the bow up, but you just cut the side bits like that at an angle and then that gives you that nice sort of edge. Right, so that's all done there. What I'm going to do is just pop a tag on it. Now, this was one of the tags that I cut out of the book. But you can, if you want to, just stamp a tag, you know, or just cut one out freehand if you don't have a, a stamp, you know, a, a tag punch. So I'm just going to pop a hole in that one. I think this one's really pretty and it goes really well. And I've just got some ribbon here that I got from the range. But you can use twine. Twine's really nice to use on things like this. Either the brown twine or you can use maybe something like this if you're doing more traditional colours. So just pop the tag on and then you can you can write that if you want to or you can just leave it as a decoration you don't actually have to write them I think they just look nice as they are and all we're going to do is just can you see we're just going to fix that around the lid and you can tie this on before you put the ribbon on if you want to if you want to hide any um, bits of string or anything like that so I'm just going to tie this round here and then I'll show you all of the others I've done there we go. Doesn't that look pretty? But you don't have to put cookies and things in. You could put anything like cosmetics. You can put the cotton pads, anything like that. They'd look really, really cute. So 
once you've got the jar idea you can do all sorts with it now this is another one that i've done i popped a red ribbon on this one so a little bit more traditional and i found this tag here well it wasn't actually a tag it was just part of um, a piece of paper and i literally cut it out and left the biscuit company bit in and i just popped the tag on there so we'll just put in some of the other biscuits that we made just fill those up in the jar there we go pop the lid on and that is that one done i think they're really nice when they're handmade i think it gives it that special extra touch but i have got some that i have cheated with and i've bought some things and biscuits to go in the rest of them so we've got this jar here that i've done just popped a little picture of the big guy himself and then a tag there and i've just put some cookies in these these would also be really nice to leave out maybe for santa on christmas eve he could maybe get a cookie from the, the cookie jar here's another one this is just um a, a jar that was had a, like a dip in it you know a, a dipping sauce and i've put a few cookies in that one just put a tag on the front so you can write on that one who you want that one to go and then a simple ribbon and then lastly we've got this one here this was a jam jar this one says for you with a robin on the front and i just made that tag with the tag punch out of a piece of the card in that pink christmas book and then i just put some flapjack and chocolate in those but you could put fudge you could put all sorts of different things anything you know that your recipient really likes so i'll just put these all out and i'll show you them all but i've really enjoyed making this little tutorial for you there we go so that's them all finished i've just brought them up to my house just because the lighting's a little bit better up here but i've really enjoyed doing this video i hope i've inspired you to have a go and once you've got the concept that you've got an old jar you can stick something on it a bit of ribbon a tag you can put all sorts of things inside it's only limited to your imagination but i think the cookies and the biscuits and the homemade treats really give it that extra special touch so if i've inspired you then please 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 tag me in anything on instagram there's facebook we've got groups on both of those they're becky's crafts and goodies for both of those you can also send me a picture via email um, lots of people do that as well so if i've inspired you brilliant keep going keep crafting keep baking and um, keep your spirits up and um, I hope you're all okay and hope you're coping okay. And I hope these videos are helping you just to get past and look forward to some good things because Christmas is coming and um, it, there's no harm in soaking up that Christmas spirit a little bit earlier this year just to get that feel good factor. So that's it for me. I hope you're all okay and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.